20 largest mosasaurs that ever lived. With the oceans today still shrouded in mystery, imagine what the scenario must have been millions of years ago. In the Jurassic Age, when stupendously huge lizards crawled the surface of the Earth, the waters were infested by an array of marine prehistoric inhabitants. Rivaling their land counterparts in ferocity and predatory skills, these marine dwellers used to lurk in the deepest nooks and corners of their watery habitat. In today's video, we're featuring the top 20 largest mosasaurs that have existed since the beginning of time. Anyway, let's get right at it. Number 20. Dallasaurus ternary, 1 meter 3.3 feet, 92 million years ago. Dallasaurus belonged to a family of mosasaurs, which were serpentine lizards. Dallasaurus were found in Dallas County, which is located in northern Texas. Their partial remains don't tell us much about them. However, paleontologists have tried and are still trying to find more information about them. Interestingly, Dallas was mostly underwater then. After a lot of research, paleontologists have proven that they had well-developed limbs. These limbs enabled them to walk on land and water properly. Number 19. Eonatator sternbergi, 2 to 3 meters, 6.6 .6 feet to 10 feet, 84 to 72 million years ago. With a dolphin-like agility, the Eonatator was one of the earliest known mosasaurs to roam the planet. The Eonatator was among the smallest known mosasaurs. Like several mosasaurs, it's believed to have fed totally on fish and smaller marine reptiles. This beast roamed the planet in the middle to late Cretaceous period. Number 18. Tethosaurus Nopsi 3 meters, 10 feet, 93 to 89 million years ago. Tethosaurus is an extinct genus of Tethosaurine mosasaurid from the early Turian period. It was found near the villages of Tatterhurst and Asfla in the region of Galmima Erechidia province in Morocco, with three referred specimens that include a nearly complete articulated skull, mandible, vertebrae, and portions of the appendicular skeleton. Number 17. Clinastes liadontis, 3 to 4 meters, that's 10 to 13.1 feet, 88 to 70 million years ago. Clinastes is an extinct genus of marine lizard belonging to the mosasaur family. The vertebral processes allow the proximal heads of the vertebrae to interlock for stability and strength during swimming. It was one of the earliest hydropeda mosasaurs, representing one of the first properly marine predatory forms alongside other early hydropedal genera like Tylosaurus and Platycarpus. It was likely an agile swimmer that preyed on cephalopods fish, and other small vertebrates in shallow water. Number 16. Anglosaurus bocagii, 4 meters, 13.1 feet, 89 million years ago. Anglosaurus was a small mosasaur. It shared much of a body plan with its relative Platycarpus, but with a slightly longer skull relative to body length. Its skull housed 11 maxillary teeth four premaxillary teeth, and 12 dentary teeth. The phylogenetic relationship of Anglosaurus indicates that individuals of this genus possessed a tail fluke, more forward-lying nostrils, and keeled scales for hydrodynamic efficiency. Number 15. Halosaurus arambaugi, 4 to 5 meters, that's 13 to 16.4 feet, 86 to 66 million years ago. Though bigger than earlier and more basal mosasaurs, such as the Dalosaurus, the sleek Halosaurus would have been dwarfed by many of its contemporaries, such as Tylosaurus and larger species of Clidastes. It was a relatively poor swimmer. It loitered in submarine caves and in cracks. It may have waded around ledges above the water where Hesperornis gathered. When the Hesperornis leave their rocky ledges to dive for fish, the Halosaurus are down below, waiting for an opportunity to ambush them. So once this bad boy has caught its prey, it swallows it. Number 14. Plyoplatic Carpus marshi, 4 to 5 meters, that's 13 to 16.4 feet, 73 to 68 million years ago. 
Another genus of mosasaur lizard bossing through the late Cretaceous period, their eyes are proportionally larger than those of many mosasaurs, although the skull is relatively short. The larger eyes may be an adaptation to low light conditions like those found in deeper water. It has fewer teeth than most mosasaurs, but they are greatly recurved. This suggests that Pliopletocarpus would have hunted relatively small prey that it could grab very precisely. Number 13. Globidens decotensis, 5 to 6 meters, 16 to 20 feet, 84 to 86 million years ago. Globidens, or globe teeth, is an extinct genus of Mosasaurus lizard classified as part of the Globodensini tribe in the Mosasaurinae subfamily. Its appearance is very much like other mosasaurs, streamlined body with flippers, a laterally flattened tail and powerful jaws. It has a semi-spherical teeth with rounded, nubbin-like points, which were much better suited for crushing tough armored prey like small turtles, ammonites, nautili, and bivalves. Number 12. Clonastes morvalensis, 6 meters, 20 feet. 88 to 70 million years ago. Clidastes was one of the smallest of the Mosasaurs, or the smallest known being Delosaurus. Just like Lyodontus, they follow the same vertebral process. Even though the vertebrae locked together, the living animal would still have had a range of motion in the horizontal plane that's sufficient to allow for high quality of swimming in shallow waters. It possessed a delicate and slim form with an expansion of neural spines and chevrons near the tip of the tail, and this enabled it to chase down the fastest of prey. Number 11. Pananeosaurus inexpectatus, 6 meters, 20 feet, 85 to 83 million years ago. This one thrived in a freshwater river system of an island landmass in the western Tethian archipelago. It appears to have been super specialized for its freshwater environment like a flattened skull like a crocodile for ambushing prey on both land and shallow water. And while there's little evidence for what its limbs would have looked like, the researchers suggest that it could have had limbs like a terrestrial lizard. Number 10. Plesiotylosaurus crassidens, 6 to 7 meters, 20 to 23 feet, 70 to 69 million years ago. Plesiotylosaurus is considered to be the larger kind. Its jaws were elongated and its skull was quite robust, similar to Prognathodon, which suggests a distinct prey preference. It has a solid, bony rostrum at the tip of the snout and mandibles, a wide and virtually unconstricted internarial bar that arises from a transversely rectangular base on the posterior face of the dentigerous portion of the premaxilla. Lindgren considered these shared characteristics to be an obvious example of convergent evolution. Number 9. Prognathodon gigantus, 10 meters, 33 feet, 83 to 66 million years ago. It's green in color with lighter green stripes on its body. It has a huge head and jaws with crocodilian-like teeth, along with four large flippers. Its behavior is similar to a megalodon, it fears nothing and attacks everything in sight. All prognathodons are often eaten by the megalodon. Number 8. Prognathodon y periensis, 11 meters, 36 feet, 83 to 66 million years ago. It's known by a partial skeleton, including a disarticulated skull, cervical vertebrae, and ribs recovered from Maastrichtian age deposits in New Zealand. It's a mosasaur that spent its life eating armored animals like shellfish, ammonites, and turtles. It has a very heavy jaw, creating a strong bite force, suggesting that it was adapted to crushing prey, not tearing off flesh. However, the reason why it's an armored animal killer is because the Cretaceous Ocean was very scarce about food, and the only way it could survive is to adapt to a different food source, one that most mosasaurs don't usually eat. Number 7. Lyodon mosasaurides, 12 meters, 40 feet, 72 to 66 million years ago. Lyodon, or smooth tooth, is a dubious genus of mosasaur from the late Cretaceous. 
Richard Owen first named the genus. However, back then, Richard Owen spelt the name as Leodon. But a few years later, it was realized that the name Leodon had already been used to name a genus of fish. So another naturalist named Louis Agassiz altered the name to its present state, Leodon. It also attained apex predator status and was capable of taking on all kinds of prey items, from fish to marine reptiles like plesiosaurs and even other mosasaurus. Number 6. Moanosaurus mangahoungi, 12 meters, 40 feet, 83 to 66 million years ago. This sea lizard was a very large mosasaurian known originally from a disarticulated skull vertebrae, ribs, and flipper bones. Given its large size, it's a safe bet that Moanosaurus would have been a predator of large prey that most probably consisted of other marine reptiles. Aside from smaller Mosasaurs, other marine reptiles known of the waters of the late Cretaceous New Zealand are Elasmosaurid Plesiosaurus, such as Mousasaurus and Tyrannosaurus. These would have been quite easy prey for a large mosasaur like Moanosaurus, which could probably swim faster than them as well as use its large jaws to inflict serious injuries to a Plesiosaur's neck and flippers. Tanawasaurus oweni, 12 meters, 40 feet, 70 to 66 million years ago. Tanawasaurus was an extinct genus of mosasaur, a carnivorous marine reptile which inhabited New Zealand, Japan, and Antarctica. The genus was a close relative of the genera Tylosaurus and Hainosaurus. Tanawasaurus oweni, the type species for Tanawasaurus, was named by Hector in 1874 from a fossil specimen found in the late Campion Conway Formation outcrops at Haumuri Bluff, New Zealand. It's synonymous with Tylosaurus haumarensis, which was named more recently from the front parts of the jaws. Number 4. Prognathodon saturator, 13 to 14 meters, that's 43 to 46 feet, 83 to 66 million years ago. It's a massive and enormous species from the Merstichian of the Netherlands and being considerably more massive and robust in general. This species also lacks the high crest of the dorsal median ridge, which is found in other members of the genus. It has protective bony rings surrounding its eye sockets, indicating it lived in deep water. Its teeth are similar to those of some Triassic pachydonts, though it may have lived a similar lifestyle, feeding on shellfish, large fish, and sea turtles. Number 3. Plotosaurus tuckeri, 14 meters, 46 feet, 70 to 66 million years ago. This mosasaur has been first named Calposaurus, bay lizard, but renamed to Plotosaurus because the former name was a synonym for Anothosaur. It's a large mosasaur, but not enough to be a supreme killer. Also, it has a huge advantage on swimming. It has the narrowest flippers, buoy, and tails. It's one of the most advanced mosasaur and the fastest. It has huge eyes to see in dark water. With all of these advantages, it resembles Optimosaurus, the most successful ichthosaur of its time. Number 2. Tylosaurus prorigare, 15 meters, 50 feet, 86 to 75 million years ago. The most dangerous, dominant, terrorized, and successful mosasaur of all time has dominated all of the western interior seaway and has actually managed to put many other creatures to extinction. This giant mosasaur has a perfect adaptation to hunting, spend hours underwater before breathing, swift as it is, also skilled at ambush, and high sensitivity. However, it's thought to be a pack animal at first and then becomes extremely territorial and aggressive, killing each other for a reason other than territory, mating competition, or food. If it was still alive today, it would put all the great modern sea animals to extinction. Good thing they're extinct, though. Number 1. Mosasaurus Huffmani, 17 to 18 meters, 50 to 60 feet, 70 to 66 million years ago. Also known as the lizard of the Mos River, it's the type genus of the Mosasaurus, which is an extinct group of aquatic squamate 
during the Campion and Maastrichtian stages of the Late Cretaceous period. Knowledge of its skeleton, however, remains incomplete as it is rarely preserved with articulated postcranial fossils. Its skull alone measures 144 centimeters, that is 57 inches. Its teeth are considered to be large and robust, which consist of two opposite cutting edges, and it is designed specifically for cutting its prey. The Hafmani likely swallowed its prey and used jaw adduction to assist in hard biting during prey seizure. Its skull is adapted to withstand powerful bites. It swims using its tail. It utilized a subcranaform swimming style, which is best seen today in mackerels. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel.